video day in May, the last vlog of the month, which is vlog number 31, of course. It is May 31st, 2016, and it is 6.56 in the p.m. Well, <clears throat> so, come on, simply to just update what's going on, how are things going, what are we going to do next, that type of stuff. Um, this month has been something else, hasn't it? Oh my God, the highs and the lows of this month. Wow. Uh, I can't even call it, you know. I can't, I can't call it other than, you know, um, I'm doing me and I'm having, I'm having fun with it, you know. Um, that's it. No more, no less. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no secrets. Everybody is fully aware of what's going on. Um, and that's what's happening. That's it and that's all. You know, I'm grown. You know, and, uh, I don't, I, I don't have to make up shit. I don't have to, you know what I'm saying, be on some Mimi shit to be interesting. You know what I'm saying? I just can't do all that. You know, I mean, you know, and especially not at the expense of somebody else now. You know, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. You know, everybody got their own reasons on how they do what they do. But it ain't, and it ain't none of my business, no way. You know what I'm saying? It ain't my burden to bear no goddamn way. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking care of my own. And I got three of them motherfuckers, you know? So, you know, hey, I'm doing what I got to do to handle mine and to take care of mine and do my own thing. And everybody is doing, you know what I'm saying, accordingly. So, who the fuck am I? Because, uh, motherfucker, we sin differently. For real? Okay. Well, anyway, um, y'all see I got through the weekend. Everything is everything. And, you know, hey, it is what it is, you know. I had a real good uh, Memorial Day weekend. Um, y'all know what? Look, hey, I had talked about it on Facebook and shit. And um, how about my kids had done something to the washing machine. Just this la and because and, 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 I just used it. Because I washed those dresses on the delicate, uh, what you call it, okay? But they had done something out there and the washing machine wasn't working right. But they was trying to keep it from me that it wasn't working right, right? Well, so my son comes in here, my oldest. And so he said, Mom, he said, um, I, I got something to tell you. You're going to be mad. And I was like, okay. He's like, but do you want the bad news or do you want the good news first? I was like, well... Give me the good news first, shit, fuck it. Then therefore, hell, at least, you know what I'm saying, is it going to be better than the other, and therefore I just deal with that, you know. So he was like, well, Mom, <clears throat> the good thing is you're going to get an upgrade. Bad thing is your washing machine ain't working right. So um, here's a 1000 bucks. You can go down there wherever you got this from or wherever you want to go and just go get you another washing machine. So what was a girl to do? Okay, Memorial Day weekend, holla. You know what I'm saying? Got my veterans, uh, my veterans, uh, uh, ID card winning. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? I had, cause I got that set from Lowe's anyway. Y'all remember that a few years back, um, Tony had bought me that set. And the kids just, oh my God, just tearing it up. Just, oh my God, just tearing it up, tearing it up, tearing it up. And so, um, you know, they had keep, they, they kept getting coins and shit, you know, caught in the little filter part where you got to take the hole back out and all this kind of stuff because it was giving error messages from all of the coins and stuff in their pockets and papers and shit and pens and shit, you know. So they was fucking it up. So in my home warranty, they had came out a couple of times and, you know, was working on it or whatever. But the upgrade that they would, the replacement that they wanted to give me, they didn't want to give me the, with the pedestal and all that other shit, that, you know, some other shit that I, you know, needed. And plus, the one that they was trying to give me was a smaller tub than what I got. So I was like, you know, this is some bullshit, you know, and I'm tired of arguing and fussing and fighting with these motherfuckers. And they come talking about, well, you know, the kids did it and, you know, this is normal wear and tear and this is kid problem and all this. Old, so fuck it. So, um, I went to Lowe's and, um, and so I got the replacement washer of the same Whirlpool Duet Steam 
that I had, I just got the newer model. Because I had got the, that same set from Lowe's anyway. So, but, you know, it was an older generation, an older model. I think it was, what, about, about three years old, three, about three, four years old or some shit like that there. Some shit like that there. And so, yeah, so I just got the newer one. And I just got that because <clears throat> another thing that I had planned on getting was changing out my, um, my, uh, my um pool pump now the pool pump that i have is a 2hp okay my light bill get to going up to 400 dollars a month during the summertime to keep this motherfucking water clear and all that old type of shit okay because kids gonna piss in the water let's just be clear about it okay so to keep all this motherfucking uh bacteria and shit from building the fuck up you got to constantly stay on the pH balance and the chemicals and all that old type of shit. I'm a chemist, you know what I'm saying? You know, okay? I do everything, you know, okay? So, um, so I was like, you know what, fuck all this shit. I'm just going to get me a new, uh, what you call it, pump, okay? Now, Southern California Edison was going to give me one, but they was going to give me one that was wired for a 220, my pump is not wired for 220. It's actually wired on a 110. So, then therefore, I didn't have no action on that. But now that it's come around, that now Pent Air makes um, the 110s, it, you can either hook it up 110 or 220, but it's a variable, the variable uh, pool pump, and it op actually operates 90% less than the pump that I have on my pool right now. So then, therefore, I could run, theoretically run this shit 24 motherfucking hours a day. And it ain't going to equate to running this bitch for four hours during the peak hours of the day. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, go figure. Of course, I had to go ahead and holler at that. Now, mind you, Southern California Edison, which is my electric company, okay? Now, they got a $200, uh, what you call it, rebate, Okay? So, but you got to have it, you know what I'm saying, um, professionally installed and all this. So, well, do they? I don't know if they got that right there. I, I don't know. I know that they are offering a $200 rebate, but I'm certain you got to, well, I'm going to have my shit professionally installed anyway. I found this motherfucker that I'm going to get at and I'm going to have him go ahead on and do this right here. Give me an invoice so I can send it to these motherfuckers so they can run me mine. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to bought this motherfucker. And y'all already pre-qualified me and told me that I can go ahead on and get this 200. Don't play no games. You know what I'm saying? So, then therefore, I went on and I bit the bullet and it was three. It was $643.99. Okay, I bought it last night. So, since my son had ran me a grand... That nigga gave me a thou, so I went on and I bought the, what you call it, which was 700 and something, because I had got the, uh, what was it, the, I got the five-year warranty, which was $109 or some shit like that there, and uh, what else I did, I had to get some Fabuloso, some um, batteries for this motherfucker right here, and what else did I get from Lowe's? I think that was it. So anyway, uh, nevertheless, run me my 10 on this. Um, uh, thank you for service, all that. Yeah, give me my 10 off all this right here. So then therefore, boom, that took that down off that. But I still end up paying like, I don't know, I probably ate something. I don't, I don't know. I don't really remember what I paid. So after that, when I came home, I said, okay, boom. I went online and I was, you know, researching for the pool pump and I was trying to find out who can get run me a better deal because see, Leslie's ass was bullshitting when I went over there to go talk to him the other day. You know what I'm saying? They thought they had a dummy on the line when they was to come talking to me about all this right here. Come talking about it's going to be 900 and something out the door, right? Now, but you are going to get a $200 Southern California Edison rebate. Okay, so then I still would have been paying seven something. Okay, well, that didn't make no sense to me when I just bought it right now for six something. You know what I'm saying? Out the dough. I didn't pay no taxes, no shipping and handling, none of that old type of shit because it was a Memorial Day get down. So then, therefore, now I now I don't have to share my motherfucking uh, rebate with no motherfucking body. 
Now that run me off, give me if you don't give me mine, please. So then, therefore, I paid the six forty three, and then they go ahead on they give me two. Pent Air, which is the company of the what you call it, they also running another fifty. So then I get two fifty off. So then, therefore, boom, I paid four hundred. Nigga, that's what winning. You know what I'm saying? All that equate to a one. I don't. I. I. You know. I. Hey. You know, that's the way I be looking at things. If shit don't make sense to me, I just ain't going to do it. That's just it. I got to think it through and through. You can't talk me into no shit. Just remember that, okay? I can't talk out of money or pussy and that little type of shit. You can't even change your religion. Ain't that a bitch? You can't do nothing really to this motherfucker. I'm too smart for that shit, okay? So, but when, I, when I'm up against some decisions that I got to make, I don't make no rash motherfucking decisions. I'm going to tell you to table this right here. Because if it's the same deal that you giving me and you 100 about everything you just done told me all this right here, then nigga, we could run the same program in the morning. You know what I mean? You can't tell me that we can't do this right now. We hey, we going to have to do this in the morning because I'm going to have to go home. I'm going to have to burn me a couple motherfucking frankincense, some shit, dragon's blood, something, but you live something. You know what I'm saying? Say something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to pray. I'm going to have to talk to myself and figure it all out. I'm going to have to call the bank and look at that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to iPad and see it that much more better. You know what I'm saying? Call the bank, look at that motherfucker, make sure everything is a go. You know what I'm saying? You just can't just make no rash motherfucking decisions. I can't. I don't give a fuck what I'm working with. God damn it. I'm just not going to be out here doing no dumb shit. I can't because I got too many motherfuckers in the wagon that I got to pull. Okay? So, if I got my three kids and they watching me and trying to watch what kind of decisions and shit I make, I can't be out here fucking up. You know what I mean? Now, yeah, I like to, you know what I'm saying? I, I like to get towed back. You know what I'm saying? I admit that shit. You know what I mean? I like to do all that old type of shit, but that's on my own motherfucking time. Okay? That's after I done took care of my business and everything is a go and everybody's needs and shit is taken care of. Motherfucking laundry and shit is done. Motherfucking meat and shit is all on skidded and all that old type of shit and everything is ready to go. Then therefore, nigga, don't bother me, motherfucker. I'm doing this right here. Uh. Okay? And out the way. Okay? Yeah. So, um... <clears throat> Anyway, I done lost my train of thought. I done forgot where the fuck I was. Ain't that a bitch? <sighs> Bottom line is, I ordered the pool pump. Okay. I got, so I, so I ended up getting, um, so after it's all said and done, and they run me my 250, which is going to be 200 from Southern California Edison, and then 50 from what you call it, them. So I'm only out of 400, which I only, you know what I'm saying, Throw like 200 that was left from the balance of that thou. Then therefore, actually, I only, you know what I'm saying, really uh, dealt with $200. And I got me a pump that's going to last me to test the time. You know what I mean? So, I'm winning right now. I feel good about everything. Everything is a one. Okay? Count it. Okay? So, yeah. So, I did that and everything. So, that was cool. Um, we barbecued and, and sat and, you know, and, 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 and reared back and shit and all that old type of shit. My daughter made a cake. It was a go. And, uh, you know, I just laid up here. I watched Love and Hip Hop last night. I don't know what the fuck them motherfuckers is doing. I don't know what the fuck. What is they doing on Love and the Hip Hop? You know what I'm saying? I watched the motherfucker. Okay? Now, I like Jocelyn. I like the realness about her, but it's just, you know, everybody got the fact that you like to eat pussy and suck dick too part time. I, everybody got it. Okay? But, you know, just calm down on some of that motherfucking shit. You ain't got to let, you know what I'm saying, bitch? You ain't got to put it all out there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, damn. You know? I mean, damn. After a while, it's like, okay, bitch, we see you, motherfucker. You know what I mean? But uh, when, you know, it come out that, you know, Stevie J is still on some dumb shit. And now he out here, you know, still making babies and shit. Nigga, ain't you half a hundred, nigga? I think that nigga's, like, really, like, older than me. And, nigga, you still out here making babies? And you still owe balances off the rest of these motherfuckers? What is you doing, Stevie? Uh, uh, excuse me, Stevie. What are you doing, partner? What are you doing? Duh, hey. What are you doing, dog? That's dumb to me. That's dumb as a motherfucker because I don't even got no understanding about that. Now, I understand why Mimi doing what she doing because this bitch is like, look, check this out. I'm trying to get a handle on my motherfucking finance and I'm trying to get ahead. 
You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. I need y'all motherfuckers to still have my name in the credits. Fuck all that shit. I don't give a fuck what it look like or how motherfuckers might view me. Fuck all that shit, nigga. I'm in this house and I'm praying. I got a Buddha. I got a, I got a cross and motherfucking Virgin Mary, Rosemary and all that old type of shit. Nigga, uh, look, hey, uh, <clears throat> I'm covered and, and sheltered by the shepherd, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do all this motherfucking shit on, 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 uh, uh, motherfucking VH1 and them, okay? I ain't mad at her motherfucking ass. I mean, you know, but it's just too much to me for her to have to explain to her daughter. If she didn't have no kids and she was running that bullshit, it, it'd be like, okay, now, whatever, bitch. You know, like like Jocelyn, it's like, okay, whatever. You having fun, you know what I'm saying? You just doing your thing, whatever. But when you start having a, a child with it, especially a daughter thing, that's too much to explain. I'm sorry. That's too much. You know, but, uh, you know, I ain't mad at the rest of that bullshit that touched me now, bitch. Uh, you can look at that bitch and tell that she was eating her motherfucking pussy royally, can't you? I know I ain't the only one that could tell that shit. You could tell that bitch was eating the fuck out of her motherfucking pussy. And I ain't mad at none of that shit, though, really. You know what I mean? Really, on some real shit. Because me and Mimi and all of our motherfucking asses are all around the same age. And at this age group, nigga, you in your prime, especially when you done done some fool shit. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, the got to the point to where you can, you know, kind of float in this life a little bit and kind of, you know, move around and move about this motherfucker and you ain't really stressed with the world on your back and shit and, you know what I'm saying, can't pay your shit, you know. When you get to a point where you can kind of move a little bit, nigga, you start having fun. It's like, what the fuck else can you do? Like, really? I ain't got no reason to be so mad at motherfucker. I don't need to go to jail, shit, man. Hey, look, hey, check this out. It's nigga, uh, look, hey, I'll try it, yeah. Now, look, check this out. Now, I know, wait a minute. Because it's going to be some motherfucker somewhere going to be like, wait a minute, what that bitch say she had tried? She said she had tried something, didn't she? Excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. This, this, wait, first of all, let me be clear on the things that I will not try. You ain't even got to worry about it, okay? If some, they, put, they put the shit out on me, goddammit, they done lied to somebody. Because I ain't, I ain't got to do nothing else other than no motherfucking weed. Okay, let's be clear on that. I don't know. I don't know nothing about no motherfucking Mickey Mouse ecstasy, uh, uh, whatever the bullshit other else, day break drug, all all that bullshit. I'm cool. I'm good on crack, crank, PCP, whatever the other get down is. I'm good on all that shit. Heron, all that, man. I'm good. Okay, I grow my own shit. That way I know what's in it. You know what I mean? And I mind my own motherfucking business. And I'm cool. You know, that's good enough for me. All the rest of that bullshit, don't put me with it, cause that ain't, I ain't one of them. Okay, another motherfucker thing you ain't gonna some, somebody gonna lie to somebody about, nigga. I ain't gonna eat a motherfucking pussy. That's one thing I'm not gonna do. Okay, I got one of my own. This bitch is fussy sometimes. I already, you know, I, I gotta keep this bitch balanced. You know what I'm saying? We got this. We we, we, we gotta communicate with one another. Which we, you know what I'm saying? I gave her what she needed, you know what I'm saying? I gave her some egg and thing and all that other type of shit. And you know what I'm saying? I take care of this bitch, you know? And so, and she rewards me royally with uh, going ahead on and, uh, you know what I'm saying, giving me what I need when I need one, you feel me? So, uh, I ain't mad at it, you know? So, yeah, those are two things. And then on top of that, too, to just arbitrarily hurt somebody. Nah, I'm just, I'm not one of them. I, I'm not, you... You, somebody, somebody is lying on me, okay? I'm not a shit starter. I ain't none of that old type of shit, you know? So all that shit, somebody's lying on me, okay? Now, anyway, so bottom line is I was able to order my little goodies, and um, the washing machine is supposed to be delivered. They, they said the first or the second, but I will get a phone call from the delivery department on the first to let me know whether or not it came in or not and if it's going to be on the truck. If it's not going to be on the truck, that's the, that delivery truck on the first, then it will be on the delivery truck on the second. Now, my pump, they're saying that I should receive it by the seventh. So... I don't know where it's coming from or anything like that. And I didn't check the tracking or nothing like that. I'm just so excited for it because I'm going to run that motherfucker, man. I love it when the water's moving. I love the sound. Um, it's just relaxing, you know. 
and uh, and it makes the water just crystal clear when it's just able to run, 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 you know. So I'm excited about that, you know, and it's like, man, it's an attest to the fact that, you know, um, I didn't get into um, this right here to be a single mother. I got into this as a wife, okay. Um, yes, uh, through uh, life, I ended up being a single mom. Um, but, uh, you know, I have to say that it feels good to, you know, to have so, so many good seeds in my children to whereas now, you know, I, whenever I look at my washing machine, I, it's like my son bought me this, you know. And I remember the first time I had bought my mom um, her refrigerator. I mean, excuse me, that freezer that was in the garage. Um, and uh, I just had to replace it a few, uh, about a year ago because um, I still had it here, but I got rid of it, and um, I bought us another one that's energy efficient, so, um, but yeah, when I bought my mom her, her deep freezer, oh my God, and it was, you know, one of those uprights, she had one of those big ass ones, and oh my God, she was just so happy, you know, and that was my first little nursing job, and you know, and I took my mom on down to the Sears outlet and let her pick it out and shit, and they delivered it and shit. She was so, so happy. So, so I was just a, a, a deja vu moment when my son was like, Mom, here, go get what you want. You know what I'm saying? It just, oh, my God, it just, you know, just made me feel two or three things, you know. And uh, so, you know, so it was, it was a good look. I'm just happy about that. Um, so... Now, what is next for us? What are we going to do? Um, we, we got past uh, a video day in May. Um, I think we got closer. You guys were able to see different things about my life that I probably would not have um, been so overt about if I didn't have to do a video every day. Um, uh, what is my shit made of? Absolutely not. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Hell motherfucking no. Okay. Um... Um, but I know a lot of people was like, well, does he have a, does he have a key? And does he know he does not have a key to my house? Okay. But you also have to understand that Kenny and I have been together almost eight years. So, you know, my kids know him very, very well. My dogs are familiar. The only reason why Sebastian was barking is because he was knocking on the door on that video that I did the other day with the one dollar dress on and shit. Oh my God, the other dress is fit bomb too. Let me just go and say that part too. The other dress is fit real nice. Anyway, but he was outside knocking on the door and ringing the doorbell by me being back here in the back. Anthony's in the front, yes, but Anthony was also, I guess Anthony was probably coming out of the shower or whatever he was doing as he was getting ready for work as well. So, you know, Kenny, by him not having a key, his ass was at the door. And that's what made my dog Sebastian bark. And so, you know, people was like, well, does he have a key and does he have, well, you know, first of all, it is my business, you know what I'm saying? But no, he doesn't. Um, does he have his own place? Yes, he does. Oh, he can go home. Yes, he can. But that nigga, you see what that nigga was on? You know what I mean? This nigga been on my motherfucking bumper. I mean, like, heavy, like, nigga, like, yeah, get up off of me, dog. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, we had to have a real cool talk and shit. I'm like, nigga, I don't need you to understand some things. Okay, because I understand and this is hard to digest and this is hard for you right now, you and your feelings and shit, but uh, back up off me a little bit though, you know what I mean? Yeah, back up off me just slightly, just a little bit, give me some room to express because, you know, you playing me close. <laughs> you playing me real close and showing up where the fuck I'm at, I'm like, damn, when I was in the parking lot the other day, and that was Saturday morning, I had went through the winter's nest on the shit. And I had got me a, a small dipped cone, so I'm sitting in the car eating my cone and shit. As I'm talking to y'all, hit this motherfucker, say motherfucker, Taco Bell in the drive through Nigga, I see you. What are you doing? Come on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> yeah, so. Anyway, it is whatever. Um, y'all see on my necklace, I took me a shower and the other piece, I guess, went down my drain or something. I don't know what happened. I'm still rocking. I still love my shit. You know what I'm saying? I just would like to now put some different type of stone in it or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I want to get into such things. I want to get into cake decorating. I want to take a cake decorating class. 
I also want to, um, um, there's so many different classes and so many different things that I want to take. I'm going to take you guys with me. What I learned, I'm going to teach y'all. How about that, you know? So we're going to do cake decorating. We're going to probably do like floral. Um, and I also want to um, be able to make, you know, jewelry out like out of the little stones and shit. Um, um, I have a, um, a app called Meet Up. And it's like all kinds of different, you know, groups and stuff. Like stepping classes and like, you know, grown and sexy shit. I think it's called Meet Up. Yeah, I think it's called Meet Up and shit. Because I was like checking out some Ricky shit. And, you know, you know to balance out my chakras and shit. They got all kind of groups for all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, so, um, yeah. So, you know, we're going to do some more things. I, I do have a lot of um, 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 messages in my mailbox and stuff. I just got overwhelmed. But um, they ain't going no motherfucking where. But we're going to pull up out of the motherfuckers and we're going to still do them. Nigga, it ain't the end of the world. Motherfuckers was like, oh, hey, auntie, what's going to happen next? I'm still right here. Where the fuck I'm going? Okay? Auntie ain't going no motherfucking way till it's my time, baby. I'm right here with you. I'm with you, okay? Uh, it's us, okay? I'm with you. Where the fuck am I going? Not nowhere till it's my time. Shit niggas called right here. Uh, I still got some shit to talk about. We still need to grow. What the hell? Okay? Yeah, calm down. We still doing this thing right here, baby. Ain't shit gonna change but the dates, okay? The numbers gonna go up, though. Because uh, as it stands right now, I think we got about, well, y'all, I think we got about 2,400 videos on YouTube or something like that now. You know, something like that. We like right almost 14 million views. You know what I'm saying? We're doing our thing, you know. Y'all got shit to watch. Y'all motherfuckers is just, okay, well, what happened last week? Okay, I'm still trying, okay, I'm trying to keep y'all motherfuckers updated on all that old type of shit. But hell, you can still go back and get what you need when you need it on some of that other shit. Because I'm talking about all kinds of shit. Look a little different now, okay? So as you go back, don't be like, wait a minute, hold the fuck up. What's going on with our team? Well, it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I never possessed to be no glamour girl. I ain't no badass motherfucker. I ain't one that constantly, you know what I'm saying, is my butter don't stay whipped and, you know, all that old time. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm a raggedy motherfucker. You know what I mean? I'm a peanut butter and jelly ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, and this is me on a regular motherfucking basis. If I didn't have this style right here, my motherfucker be told the fuck up. I'm so glad I came up with this motherfucker. I said, uh-oh, well, not came up with it. Because, you know, a motherfucker in the background will be like, bitch, you didn't come up with nothing. Now, that shit came out of Chicago. Um, excuse me. Calm down. Okay, calm down. Everything is all right. Woo-sa, calm down. Don't take so much shit so literally. You know what I'm saying? Calm down. Motherfuckers was like, well, what if the tables is turned? Don't take away his manhood. Calm down. You don't know what I've been through, okay? I'm not a bad person, and nor do I fuck people over intentionally. I don't do none of that old type of shit, so he getting what the fuck he deserve. And, and actually, he don't deserve what I'm giving him. In, in some instances, you know what I'm saying? Does this some, in, in some instances, this nigga to even be lucky to breathe the air that I breathe. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? To occupy my same motherfucking space? Yeah, in some instances, this nigga's very lucky. He's a fortunate motherfucker. You know what I mean? Because he done done his share of shit. He done already do it. I don't need to run this nigga resume down or nothing like that. But he done done his share of shit. He knows what's happening. You know, so uh, it is what it is on that. So, anyway. Um, but um, video day in May. Vlog number 31, baby. We did it. Now, what's next? Well, what's next is we keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? We still have a lot to know and a lot to grow. You know, um, yesterday I went out there and I had repotted. Oh, y'all, look, check this out. I got this one hybrid plant. That motherfucker got seven prongs on that bitch, huh? So I just replanted that motherfucker in this planter that stands about this high, right? And the plant is about this motherfucking, what you call it. And I had put, um, worm castings and, you know what I'm saying, and all kind of goddamn seaweeds and shit all in it. And I mix some compost. My compost is black gold. Black gold. My compost is off the chain. You understand me? I make compost tea and I give it to my, um, plants and shit around the house and the inside of the house. 
these motherfuckers here still blooming, you know what I mean? So a lot of my shit need to be replanted and big and put into bigger plants because they're just outgrowing them and stuff. But uh yeah, this is what I do. I love this whole type of shit. This is my shit, you know what I mean? This is the life that God gave me, you know what I mean? So this is what I do. And uh and I'm and I'm gonna teach y'all what I know and, and we're gonna grow from one another and that's what's happening. So anyway, I got a sweet tooth. I need to figure that part out. Okay, what kind of candy I got in here? I got some sugar wafers. I think I got a Twix and a Kit Kat. I had an Almond Joy, but my son fucked with that, so, um, yeah. Anyway, let me figure out what kind. Oh, my, he only made a cake. I forgot. So, yeah, she made the yellow pound with a little chocolate frosting, so I'm going to fuck with it. So, anyway, uh, let me go ahead and find me some shit to get into. I'm gone. I love you guys. Love you guys for watching. Video day in May, vlog 31, baby. We did that, that goddamn thing. Didn't we? Did we do that motherfucking thing or not, nigga? I jumped on and didn't, didn't give the fuck up with it. Now, I am going to confess one motherfucking thing, though, can I? Okay, now, I understand that the other day when I posted that video of Saturday and I had posted that at the midnight or whatever, man, I was having computer problems. I had even dropped my laptop, thought I fucked that motherfucker up. You know what I'm saying? I babied that through, and I guess it's okay. I guess it decided that, you know what, bitch, we're going to give you a pass on that one. And so, I was really nervous because I really need to re-back my shit up, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, anyway, um, so I was having some computer problems, so I put that video up. I was able to try to get that video up and going, so that's why y'all ended up getting that. Um, but my intentions was all the same, and I was working hard. And even, matter of fact, even my motherfucking iPad started tripping. I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck is going on? Shit was tripping. <laughs> it was like maybe it was just meant for that video for that video to be the one that came up. That's the only thing that I can attest it to. Because I'm like, why am I having all these computer glitch problems? Like, what? And maybe it was just guys saying, okay, no, you need to not do that. Go on and put this right here up. It's still a video of motherfucking made. Don't worry about all this. Motherfucker sleeping anyway. Go and put this on up right here. This this sense of humor that he got with me. Okay, now he might not, you know what I'm saying, uh, get down with y'all like that, but this is how we get down with one another. We understand each other very well, okay? So then therefore, yeah, he already understands that he has to communicate with certain ones a certain type of motherfucking way, you know what I mean? Some, you got to do a little braille, some, you got to do a little this right here, some of them, you got to fill them through, and some of them, you know what I'm saying, is this right here. Me, this is how I do mine, and we communicate this way. So, anyway, um, I'm going to buy this one. And um, I shall see you guys later on in the week. I love you guys, man. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. I love your stories. I love your time that you guys spent with me, man. You know, the love. It's just a beautiful goddamn thing, you know. I'm really walking in purpose. I, I'm really starting to see what it feels like to actually, you know, live in color. You know what I'm saying? And just, instead of just saying, oh, I'm living in color. You know what I mean? To actually live in color, you know. What does that mean? What does that feel like? Man, what it feels like, it feels like when you just wake up every day and you don't have the weight of the world on your shoulders. You don't have a deadline to meet as far as something that's going to be detrimental to the, you know, to the, you know, to your livelihood, you know. When you're not hurting, when you're not against the grain, you don't have to move. You don't have to um, work towards something substantial like a car or, you know, working to get your own place or, you know, those types of things or just working for the next meal, you know. It's a lot of people in this world struggling, man. And you just never know nobody else's battle. You don't know what nobody else is going through, you know. I don't take none of that shit for granted, man. It's like, you know, when I see people, you know, I give people a warm smile and shit because I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, Look, the, the energy the energy coming from me is what I'm responsible for, you know. And I'm not going to give you nothing that's going to disrupt your cheek because I don't want mine disrupted, you know. So, you know, it's like, man, when I look at people and it and has you, um, when you become to uh, start reaching deeper into your higher self, you begin to appreciate so many things 
You know, you appreciate not only the air that you breathe, but the world around you. You know, you, you begin to, you know, cherish and really look at life, a, you know, a different type of way. You know, so anyway, we're going to still continue to talk about these types of things because this is the kind of shit that I'm into. Bullshit I can run a marathon. I don't know nothing about it. I, I, don't put me with it. You know what I mean? I ain't over here. Oh, okay, she talking about someone, so I'm not talking about anyone. I welcome everybody. I support y'all all, whether or not you like me or not. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Y'all motherfuckers is doing y'all thing. Everybody is looking real good. I ain't got no animosity whatsoever. I don't hold grudges. I keep it moving. After I done said what I done said and done done it already, nigga, it's on to something else, nigga. What else we doing? What? What? Yeah. So that would be me. Um, I'm one of them. So on that note, I'm gone. Out of here. I love you guys. Love you guys for watching. In a couple of days, we'll be back on this piece. Give me a couple of days to digest, you know what I mean? Uh, and all this old type of shit. Because I got this motherfucking unicorn that I'm going to have to try to get on. Okay, got me a little unicorn of what was that last weekend? Y'all remember that? I put it on Facebook and shit. This motherfucker ain't blow it up yet. But now that I got my new little pump and shit coming and all this motherfucking water about to be all doing this right here, yeah, we're gonna have to go on outside. I'm gonna have to, you know what I'm saying, get my little swimsuit of 2016 and uh, show y'all what this unicorn do. Hmm, yeah, what that unicorn do. All right, family, love you. Good night. Bye-bye. Mwah.